Hello, LLND, with the end uh, or near the end of Moore's Law, how do you expect to see continued generational performance improvement as the transistors can no longer shrink? Um, you know, I just, I, I, it seems impossible. But they keep doing it. Yeah, they keep finding some lever to turn, some wheel to crank. Yeah. IPC improvements. Uh, yeah. Like there's there's things well, that... Well, 3D stacking. Oh, yeah. Looks like it is going That's to be one. huge. Uh, chiplets look like they are going to be huge. You Not... might find other ways to expand the amount that you're using, yeah, not like, necessarily the amount we can fit in a certain area. Like, uh, okay, technology like in Intel's Foveros chip, where they've got, I, I forget, it's like three or four different manufacturing processes and all these buses that are communicating with each other on this like giant package. Um, stuff like Stuff like that is gonna make its way to consumer technology or to consumer electronics at some point. And could be a game changer. I mean, the way that the way that the way that AI is changing the game too is massive. I think that we are super mad about Nvidia giving us underpowered gaming chips at a price that isn't palatable right now. But when we look back, so 10 years from now, when we're playing photorealistic games at, you know, 300 frames per second or whatever on chips that fundamentally haven't changed nearly as much as the 10 years prior. We're going to be looking at it going, wow, they were way ahead. And that was early teething pain for what was ultimately going to be the future. Um, I mean, just, just looking at the way that, uh, man, I was, I was looking at um, oh, this new Photoshop feature where you basically just give it an image and then just tell it like, oh yeah, I want a lake in the middle yeah. and I want a car and I want a cloud yeah. that's shaped like the car. You saw the same article I did. I yeah. Think. I was, I meant to send it to our, our thumbnail designer, but I forgot. Yeah. Um, I'm sure they're already. Aware. So Photoshop just has generative AI built in. And if we're doing that in Photoshop now, then give it a little bit more time and we'll be doing that in real time in games. You know, you'll be able to mod a game by simply typing in a prompt uh, okay, I want to play Super Mario World, but all of the all of the Koopas are Man, procedurally generated games are going to be a are whole little new faces with mustaches ball of wax. Like that's insane. I don't think I've even thought about that before. Yeah, procedurally generated games are going to have to pre-make the assets. Yeah, <laughs> like what? it's just like I want to play Half Life Two, but all the opponents are donkeys. And you know what? It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to get. <laughs> pretty good you can, like you can hugely simplify the modding scene for certain things you know when they make like they made all the dragons in skyrim into thomas the tank engine or whatever i didn't <laughs> see that but i love it that's it's my great. favorite it's, it's, oh, yeah. it's a fantastic Amazing. mod <laughs> they even choo, like choo. When, yeah, when they fly <laughs> when they fly in you normally hear the dragon roar they, they, they have a train horn <laughs> <laughs> it's very good it's very good um but you could do stuff like that using this instead Oh, did you find it? <laughs> oh, do you man. want do you want sound? No, no, I okay. don't think sound will be necessary entirely. So it's gonna land on top of the tower that you're looking at right oh, now. Spoilers. If you haven't Oh come on, it's Skyrim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see it you see it flying around in the background? It's gonna slam down. Boom! <laughs> There's people who would, uh, they, they'd be like arachnophobic or whatever, so they would replace all the spiders in the game with like teddy bears or, or whatever else too. Right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that sort of thing is only going to get easier. Oh, so good. Which is great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And that would be, you know what would be really interesting? Oh, man. I wonder if we'll get to the point. You know how we've been waiting for, uh, or I have, whatever, um, for for Skyblivion and Morblivion, or yeah. more more, 
Skywind, sorry, there we yeah. go. Which are it's Morrowind and Oblivion rebuilt in Skyrim's Skyrim. engine, yeah, um, with really high resolution textures and all this other yeah. kind of stuff. Because you can do some pretty cool things in Skyrim's engine, even though it's pretty old. Um, I think we're going to get to a certain point eventually, where because of because like yeah, it's going to have some issues doing this kind of stuff out of nowhere, creativity problems, all that kind of stuff. It pulls yep. from something, whatever. But you might be able to go like, okay, here's a game. Here's all the information I have, all the local files, all that kind of stuff. I want you to recreate this using UE5 or whatever. I want you to recreate this using this other thing. Oh, I see what you mean. Because it's pretty good at like translating, yeah. right? Even stuff like RTX Remix. Uh, you know, okay, uh, a, just AI replace all the light sources with real point light sources. Um, yeah. And then you'll have to go in and tweak it. You'll still yep. have oh, to yeah. be a graphic designer or a game designer or whatever still else. still work. But man, yeah, it's like it's like the the generative AI in in Photoshop, right? It's not replacing artists. Yeah, we still need an artist to do that. We need all the same people to do all the same stuff. It just yeah. makes their job easier. Well, more realistically, it makes it so they have to do more of it. But yeah, because yeah. that's what working here is like. <laughs> There's always going to be stuff to do. That is never a concern. <laughs> I mean, that's what that's what work is like, Luke. Yeah. I, I don't make the freaking. I, I was reading a. Uh, I was I was reading an article. Uh, they they surveyed. I wasn't saying of, that in a bad way. To be clear, uh, they surveyed a bunch of Gen Z and millennial people who have sort of pioneered this concept of it's called lying flat in China or quiet quitting in North America. Of you know the their their top priorities being you know work life balance as opposed to all these other things. And then when they continue asking them questions, they're like, okay, right, but. Do, is that a is that a thing? And they're like, no. Is, no, is, actually, I have a second job oh. hustling because you get bored. The, the world, well, no, no, it's just inflation's out oh, of control. Yeah. It, yeah. Like it's it's not actually feasible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you That's have to point. you have to you have to bust your butt, and so it's this sort of aspirational thing. I I don't know. It's. Uh, it's a it's a big it's a big challenge. It's one of those things where I I feel like we we do I think a pretty good job of trying to make it so that people don't have to work outside their forty hours. Um, but it's tough right now. By and large, the way the world's going right now, it's it's not like that. Um, it's it has shifted from uh, from a from an employee's market to an employer's market. Like looking at what's going on with the big tech firms and the way that they're bringing everyone back to office, cutting perks, laying off th literally thousands, sometimes tens of thousands of staff. I watched a video recently of a, a certain excessively rich person, and it was like. Uh, How much is a banana? If we no something else. <laughs> that okay. one was really funny. That was really funny. Very funny. But no, they were like, okay, if we take this person's net wealth in single American dollar bills, so like one U.S. dollar, because I know a lot of other countries don't have that. So making sure you know, yeah. um, and we stacked it like horizontally and tried to wrap around the world. Yeah. How many? Like, times? How far would we get? You single U.S. dollar bills. Like you, like the width. Almost yeah. Pressed against each other. Right. Okay. You almost make it the whole way around the world. Wow. And it's just like, does this make any sense? Like, I, I don't know. Anyways, sorry. We'll get back on the tech topics. 